The Improved Production Racing Association of Victoria is proudly supported by Prestige Hino, Australia's most awarded Hino dealer. Pro-Cut Tree Services, Melbourne's most trusted for tree and stump removals. Reach Rock Art, for all your waterscape needs. Real Creative, complete website, e-commerce and multimedia solutions. And Traction Tyres and Yokohama Motorsport, performance and safety for road or race. G'day everybody, the Improved Production Victoria Field has rolled into Sandown for round three of the Prestige Hino Club Championship and for our only trip to the fabled home of horsepower this year, both the under and over championships are still very much in play. The competitors in both championships have experienced both heartbreak and jubilation this year and we're about to find out what Sandown adds to that mix for the 2024 title races. Punching out a 15-9 in qualifying to be the top over is Jared Tonks. And Tonks, you talk about a one-lap wonder. You got it done on the very first flying lap, but you had to because of the sheer number of cars we got here this weekend. Yeah, that's right, Steve. Yeah, I only had that one lap at the start, clear. So, yeah, happy to be able to do it on the one lap. Otherwise, it would have been a bit harder to go again. Yeah, not very many people improved after those early laps, but it was good to get that lap done while you had the clear traffic. Now, importantly for you, you came away from Phillip Island with a little bit of some mixed results. Talk us through what happened overall, because you did have some gremlins in the early going there. Yeah, it was going to be a good weekend. Um, it was just uh, too much water got into the engine bay on that race where, yeah, the second last corner that lost the throttle pedal. So, yeah, just too much water. Hopefully um, try and keep the water out from now on. Well, we hope so. We hope there's not too much rain around this weekend. Going well so far, so we'll see how we go. But congrats on pole. Thank you, thank you very much. Our top qualifier in unders with a 22.7 is Brett Porter. And Brett, for your first time here at Sandown, very, very impressive lap, well done. Yeah, it's good. Um, the track's pretty basic, I suppose, as far as um, tracks go. It's two straight lines and a few corners in between, but um, yeah, it sort of came to grips with it good. Uh, did two sessions yesterday, and um, hopefully we can carry it into the first race. So very close with you and Larry in qualifying, as it has been all season. How has your season gone so far? Uh, well, the first round was good. I polled it and then won every race, and Larry had some um, hassles, unfortunately. So, And then at Phillip Island, the rain sort of threw a bit of a spanner in the works. I haven't driven, driven in the rain or at Phillip Island, so it um, took a bit of coming to terms there, and then Larry sort of took advantage a bit more there, so he's caught back up to me, and... Um, here he's hot on my heels again, so we'll see how we go. New member to the IP family this weekend is Andrew Barstow with a Turbo VW Golf. So Andrew, a very, very formal welcome to Improved Production. Thank you. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. Tell us a little bit about why you chose to come to IP and the car you've brought along with you. Uh, I've been watching IP for a while, especially while building the car. Um, diversity in the field. Um, and speaking to the boys, um, they've all been very welcoming. So yeah, it's... Uh, there's something a bit different, um, all different cars in the class obviously are in the field, so yeah, I'm a 
mechanic by trade working on Volkswagen, so I thought I might as well choose a Volkswagen and uh, yeah. So what have you done to the car to actually bring it up to a reasonable standard for IP apart from fit the cage and things to it? Because it seems like it's a pretty basic car and probably one of the newest model looking cars we've had in the field for quite some time. Yeah, look, it's still pretty close to a road car. Um, the engine's been out, stripped, uh, forged internals, um, obviously cage put in there, LSD in the gearbox, some coilovers, poly bushes, those sort of things. Um, but pretty much otherwise it's a full standard road car. So yeah, just trying to keep it as simple as possible and try and keep it reliable. Did you have any racing background before coming into IP? No, so this is my first race weekend. Uh, I haven't done any karting or anything like that. Uh, it's purely, yeah, a few sprint weekends. Um, and here we are, this is the first one. see you out again it's been about two and a half years since we saw you but you've bounced back from a little bit of adversity on Friday to have a good solid result for your first race on Saturday what happened yeah I did Steve um, I had a control arm bush problem on Friday that didn't diagnose until very late in fact I went to the organizers and asked about how do I withdraw etc uh, pulled it all apart found it um, fixed it with an old bush I had lying around at home and got it back um, it, it was perfect yeah yeah, it looked very nice going around out on track and it's good to have you here and also good that you've, uh, it's the first time you've had the new engine ran here at Sandown because it's been a couple of rounds at uh, Phillip Island you ran it but you haven't run it here before. Yeah, well I probably should have brought it here straight away, you know, the best uh, engine dyno in, or best dyno in town. Um, but it, um, uh, it, it, it was lower than I wanted, you know, never, they never produce as much power as you want. Um, I thought it'd give me a quantum leap. Um, don't get me wrong, it's got great power, you know, um, but it's about 550. I was hoping for, you know, 600, north of 600. Um, the old one had about 520, I think. Never, never engine dyno, the old one. Um, but there you go, that's motor racing. Yeah, it's a similar story with engines. Andre, 12 months ago was your debut in IP here at Sandown and the car was plain white. Now, 12 months later, it's got some sponsor signage on it, which is great to see. Yeah, it is, Steve. Um, I've had a few of my sponsors come on board. So uh, I've had uh, PKV Electrical Solutions, Western Ford and Young Timers Garage. So they've come on board and helping me out with getting the car to where it is today. So it's been really good. It's been really good to see, and also good to see your progress over the last 12 months as well. You seem to be getting more and more confident with every race you go to. 
yeah, starting to get the hang of it and get familiar with the car and just be a bit more comfortable with everything. So, yeah, no, it's been really good, really good. Anton, it's been looking like a good weekend for you so far. Good result in qualifying and pretty good in race one. Let's hear it from your perspective. Uh, yeah, thanks, Steve. Um, yeah, qualifying, got a good time in, but uh, had a tyre delamination, so uh, had to get that sorted out, put some new boots on it, but um, good result in the race. Um, got a good start and, uh, yeah, um, held my position and, yeah, made up a few, so it was good. Now, how's your season gone overall so far? Because you're one of only a handful of competitors that's done all three of the rounds at Winton and Phillip Island and now at Sandown. How have things gone over the course of the year so far? Yeah, not too bad. Um, trying to stay out of trouble and, uh, yeah, just complete all the races. Wet conditions as well at Phillip Island probably made things a little bit interesting for a few competitors too. Absolutely, yeah. I was uh, I had to short shifting everywhere and... Um, yeah, couldn't go full throttle down the main straight because there's a lot of wheel spin. So, um, yeah, just tiptoeing and just surviving was pretty much my uh, motto for that one. Just get through it. So, yeah. Callum, you were telling me at the start of the weekend you got a bit sick of the black demonic look, so you added a little bit of colour to the pug this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Look, it was um, it was nice to be stealthy. I could fly under the radar with the black look, but um, I had some vinyl line around. I thought I'd go a bit of a sort of retro 80s look on it. And um, yeah, I think it's turned out all right. Got some good comments this weekend, so people tend to like it. Yeah, it looks actually quite nice with the pink and the yellow on it, so it means we can see you a little bit better on the track. And speaking of, it's actually been a good weekend for you on track so far, a second in race two and a third in the first race so far. Yeah, thanks. Uh, look, I'm, we're pretty happy with how it's going. We've, we've done a fair bit of engine work to it. Um, we probably don't have as much torque and power down low as we'd like. We've got it all up top with shirts out of the corners, but um, this is a horsepower track, so we're doing all right. Uh, it was good to get second in the, in the second race then, a bit unfortunate to get it uh, you know, after an incident, but um, you'll take what you can get in racing.
Dallas, it's been a little while since we saw you out. How's the car going this weekend and how's the results been on track? Uh, the car's going great now. Um, had the engine upgrade and some suspension upgrade, so about four seconds a lap faster than I previously was here. So, yeah, happy with the results. Up in the top ten. It's great. Yeah, been hanging on to the, uh, the coattails inside the, the top ten. What was the reason for doing a lot of the suspension work? Is it more because of the feel of the car than anything else? Yeah, trying to tidy up a bit of front end issue. A bit of mid-corner push. Um, just trying to sort that out and the suspension was very cheap sort of you know just to get into the category and thought time to upgrade and see what I can do. Well it seems to be proving pretty well for you here because it's quite a bumpy circuit so that's naturally owing to the lap times that you've been able to produce this weekend by the sounds of it. Yeah exactly it's been great I'm, I'm really happy with it I was a bit concerned about doing two changes you know an engine and a suspension and worried about what issues would come up but it's worked out well for me. First in unders for the round is Brett Porter, and Brett, your stellar rookie season continues. You've had a great run here, a couple of wins, but you also had to play second fiddle to Larry on Saturday afternoon. Yeah, so done well and got pole on Saturday, and then on Saturday first race, got a really bad start, so um, then was ch playing catch up to Larry. We finished about, I think, a tenth and a half between us, so that was good fun, and then I think Larry had his issues in the second race where I got past him. And then he wasn't out there in the last race, and luckily we got it in before the rain started to pour, so it's just starting to come down now. Second place overall for the weekend in overs is Cade Lehman. And Cade, what a fantastic scrap with Luke all weekend long. It was one second place apiece going into the final race, but you just managed to hold him out in that last sprint with the safety car restart. Yeah, absolutely, mate. She was a tough race. He's, uh, he's a hard man to pass, so but it was great fun out there, and uh, we had a ball, so it's good, good, good weekend. First in overs for the weekend is Jared Tonks. And Jared, for you, it's a perfect clean sweep. Pole and the three race wins, and you controlled it pretty well all weekend long. Yeah, thanks, Steve. Yeah, it was a good weekend. Um, I had a lot of pressure there from Cade and Luke during the weekend. So, yeah, it was a nice uh, battle all weekend.
just like that, round three of the club championship from Sandown is done and dusted, and luckily before the rain came down at the end of the day. So a lot of thankful drivers in the field after that one. We've now got a two-month break until we get to Calder Park at the end of October, and we'd like to see you all there for that one. So until next time, please drive safely and bye for now.